Lucky 13. Um, 13 is usually seen as an unlucky number. But it's luck for us. So just how are we going to make an unlucky number lucky? Because it's time for this season's 13th edition of Your Nightly News. Welcome to the 13th edition of Your Nightly News. I'm Matt. And I'm Drew. Today on the Nightly News, we've got an overview story on spring sports. But first, March Madness is over, but the craziness of the 50s is back. So tell us, what is everyone excited about for the play? I just think it's really cool how there's a lot of like new people doing it this year. So you got like a bigger crowd coming and there's going to be a lot of people seeing the show. It's a popular show. Olivia? I am very excited for my pink wig because why not? And that would be really fun to do. I'm just excited for uh, all the electricity of the performing night and uh, the bonds that'll be made between the new people, like Lene said. Awesome. Probably the crowd that's gonna draw in because, I mean, we do draw in a lot, but since there's so many more students involved this year, I feel like we're gonna have a bigger outcome. And again, it is a very popular show, so. And what are your guys' roles? I'm Sandy. I'm Frenchie. I'm Danny. I am Teen Angel and Vince Fontaine. I don't know what the next question is. <laughs> don't worry. So what's it like playing the roles? All right. We're still recording. Yeah. Right. So what's it like playing the roles? Well, Sandy's fun because she has like her little like switch at the end, so you have like two different personalities you get to have throughout the show. Frenchie's kind of hard because I have to be all dumb and stupid and like a beauty school dropout and dropped out of high school. But then she's also like a very true friend, so that's fun too. All right. Uh, it's pretty exciting and a little weird because Danny is a, a lot different from me because I'm not like as outgoing as he is but I guess I don't know. Um, Teen Angel will be very um, interesting because I have to sing to beauty school dropout over here and also I get to rock a white suit. Um, Vince Fontaine has to be a little more edgier and a little bit more laid back and hit on younger ladies. So it's, it's gonna be interesting, but it's gonna be fun. Sounds awesome. I can't hear you. All right, so everyone go check out the play. And vote for me for Mr. Fieldcrest because I have the hottest mixtape. No, no, <laughs> vote for me for Mr. Fieldcrest, please. Check out the drama department's production of Grease this weekend. With the weather we've been having, it hardly feels like it, but it is a spring sports season. Spring sports are now in session, and, well, for some seniors, this is their last year. Let's go talk to a few of them. So, Lucas, tell us, how's baseball going for you? It's going pretty good. Practice started Monday, and uh, starting to throw. We were outside the first day, but now we're back inside because it's, you know, spring baseball it snowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how's the past three years been leading up to now? It's been pretty good. I've been improving a lot. Uh, didn't start my freshman year. Sophomore year, started first base, and then did all right. Junior year, I improved, and this year I'm hoping to do pretty good. That's good. So what have you learned by playing baseball? Nothing really. I pretty much knew it all. There's nothing you can tell us? No. All right. Um... Since you've been playing for four years, what can you tell the underclassmen? Just work hard and don't screw up, don't talk back to the coaches, and just try your hardest. Thanks, Lucas, for this interview. With. 
Hi, Lauren. So, what's it like being your last year playing softball this year? It's kind of sad because it's my last high school year, but I get to go on and play college ball, so I'm excited for that, and I feel like we're going to have a really strong year. What advice would you give underclassmen playing the sport? Um, just work hard in practices. you got to make a good impression with coach so you can maybe get some playing time and always be positive. What have you learned by playing softball? Um, I've learned how to play as a team and that one person can't do it by themselves, so work together. All right, well, thanks for the interview. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Aaron, how do you feel about it being your last year in track? Um, it's kind of sad that it's my last year, but um, obviously running is tiring, so it's kind of exciting to have it be done. How, what advice would you give younger people going into it or who want to go into it? Um, I would just tell them that if they are thinking about it, just do it because it's really a fun sport and you can make a lot of friends and there's something that you'll probably be good at. How long have you been running and what's the difference between when you started versus now? Um, well, track started in seventh grade, so I've been running then and even before seventh grade. And it just changed. Like, I just feel like I have more motivation now and like, obviously I'm faster. What has the sport taught you personally? Um, it taught me to always give it my all and just to work through the pain and um, to just be a team player. All right. Thanks, Aaron. Let's hope these students have great seasons and hopefully they'll finish their athletic careers in college. Good luck to all the teams and hopefully the weather will start to cooperate. Well, besides the musical Grease, let's see what other events are coming up. our show and try to stay warm this weekend. And check out Grease, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. I even dance. Oh, well, we'll see you with another edition of Your Nightly News.